up, YouTube family? It's your boy Big Mac here driving in Georgia on this beautiful, beautiful day. No, it's nasty, it's gross, it's rainy, I'm tired of this weather, I'm ready for this shit to be over. Yeah, I hate it, I can't stand it, it makes me sad. But, anyways, so we're currently driving uh, to Powder Springs, Georgia. Uh, to a buddy of mine shop it's uh, EB Tech um, James Amino he owns uh, well I guess a good one of the best uh, import shops in, uh, in Georgia he uh, does a lot of Honda and uh, Honda Evo I mean pretty much anything actually so he hit me up uh, a couple days ago saying that he had a set of uh, Waggle Van all wheel drive Diff, drive shaft, and vicious coupler, which is uh, pretty much all the parts that I need to go on to the hatch for the all-wheel drive setup. So I'm the type of person that I rather buy something directly from another enthusiast. Um, I hate waiting for shipping. I hate having to deal with people and sellers on the internet um, that never give you uh, solid price or scammers or stuff like that so I'd rather make um, a, dr a drive you know an hour hour and a half to pick something up personally and I have to deal with the whole internet uh, PayPal and you know just the difficulty of dealing with people online so we're headed to a shop uh, to see if we can get these all-wheel drive components um, that'll be the main not the main, but the harder to get components for the build. After that, I'll just need the CRV uh, trans and transfer case, and all the all the main parts will be will be there, and I can at least start mocking up and getting ready to set the diff in, and just little things like that. Start taking measurements and uh, get the project moving along. Um, so yeah. Once uh, once we get there, we'll see we'll see if we can, you know, make a good deal on the parts and see if I can come home with these parts and not have to deal with people. Yeah, see you in a bit. All right, guys, so we're here. Just pulled up to EB Tech. Um, tons of cars out here, guys. Supra, NSX, just among a few. But uh, let's go see what he got for us. All right, guys, so after, Please turn uh, next right. after driving, thank you, GPS. After driving uh, the long ass drive to EB Tech, getting pulled over twice for my dark ass tent, and uh, sitting there and talking a lot i ended up losing track of time forgot to show around the shop a little bit and you know get Turn some right after two miles get some info from him um finally got all the things on i'm on the way back home it's dark as fuck it's still raining so once i get home uh, i'll pull up all the parts that uh that i got from him and uh, give you the rundown on those and and uh, show you around that a little bit. I also ended up picking up a set of 2008, 2000, sorry, 2006 to 2008 Acura TSX cams from the uh, K24A2. Uh, that's gonna go into uh, another motor that I'm putting together right now for another project that I'll probably be posting up here uh, shortly. But um, that's another video that's, that'll be coming up. But uh, yeah, so now I have a two hour drive home in rain with uh, shady Georgia drivers that don't know how to drive in the rain. But yeah, let me get to it and once we get to the point of being nice and warm in the garage, I'll show y'all all the parts that we scooped up today. What's going on guys? So, got home pretty late last night and I didn't get a chance to uh, do anything. It was late, it was raining. So. Um, yeah, this is the following day, so 
I got home last night pretty late, like I said, and uh, unloaded everything. Um, I wish I could have done a little more with the video yesterday to uh, show uh, show James shop a little bit and you know give y'all a rundown of what he's got going on. But um, I ended up losing track of time, talking to him way too much, and um, slept pretty late. But um, yeah, so finally picked up the uh, the drive shaft, vicious coupler, and the diff. So um, seems to be in in pretty good shape. Um, so I'm just gonna show y'all everything and uh, explain to y'all what the parts are a little bit. All right, guys. So here we have the um, all-wheel drive components. These come out of a I want to say like 89 to 91 or 88 to 91. Um, those old school Honda waggle vans, little shuttle looking things. <clears throat> But, um, yeah, this is what everybody seems to be having the best, well, not the best luck on, but, um, I guess the more desired, uh, parts to use over the CRX. But, uh, so we have here, this is the rear differential. Uh, this is going to mount onto the FCS race, um, mounting kit, uh, through the back. There we have the drive shaft. Now, the main part that kind of makes everything work the way it does and everybody's having so... Uh, such good luck uh, running good times and big power with this is that part right there that's the uh, the vicious coupler uh, or viscous coupler sorry my bad and uh, so basically that connects both um, the front drive shaft to the rear drive shaft but inside there's like plates with uh, viscous hydraulic fluid so it basically what it basically does is it tries to make the rear wheels keep up with the front so say if the wheels the front wheels are spinning too much on the front and the speed on the there's plates inside of there and the pretty much the fluid between the plates inside the viscous coupler um it's there to kind of make the rear kind of keep up with the front if that makes any sense um so it's not like you have necessarily like a 50 50 power split or or like you know a 40 50 a point 46 or something like that and i want to say it's lower than that but that part basically enables everything to kind of I want to say to use the rear when it's when it's needed when the car feels that it needs that rear traction but um, uh, yeah so here's everything that that we picked up and uh, just a shout out to James from EB Tech from hooking it up with uh, with the parts um, I've been looking for a while and everybody was, was taxing a good bit um, I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. So right now, the next thing that we're gonna that we're gonna end up doing is uh, have to drop the fuel tank, the fuel tank on the hatch, and uh, start getting the rear mocked up. As far as uh, the mounting kit lower control arms and everything just trying to see what needs to be modified it was going to have to be switched out and go from there so yeah there's uh there's our current current situation with the project um a new sourcing parts was going to be one of the main difficulties but luckily we have i guess in my opinion the most difficult parts to find uh after this it's pretty much just finding the crv five-speed transmission and uh um mounts and a couple other little odds and ends here and there but so far everything seems to be going good um the block for this just got sent off to uh, css um to do the css kit and uh an o-ring o-ring deck to make it hold a little more power but as soon as that comes back um I'll probably start assembling that and uh putting it out and making sure everything's good but uh, I guess that's about it, guys. Uh, hopefully, once more parts come in or we start working on a little more, um, we'll make another video. And yeah, again, if y'all have any any requests or anything that y'all want to see about the car or the process or anything, just let me know.